Well, I didn't like the sound of my clap. Can I do it again? <laughs> Barclays have brought me, Ian Wright, to Manchester United to meet December's Player of the Month, Leah Gordon. Leah, you're flying. I'm really pleased to see it. How are you feeling? Top of the league, Player of the Month. Everything's going well, life's good. It feels good, to be mm -hmm. fair, yeah. It's good atmosphere around the team at the minute as well, so we need to keep that up. Mm. So what is it about December, January, where you're on fire? Is it the cold? When are you born? Because I was born in November. I quite like the cold as well. When are you born? May. So I'm you're a May summer, baby. You're a summer child as well, so I don't know where it comes from. I think it's just after Christmas, I just have that, like, I don't know, I just want to go, you know, and, mm. like, just keep going and pushing on. Right, OK, so we've got to talk about, like, the attendance record that Man, Man United smashed recently, 30,000 people yeah. at Old Trafford. I loved that, it was brilliant. What's it like? Can you explain to people what it's like when you're walking out there and there's that many people in there, the atmosphere, what it feels like for you? I think, for me, it's more like it, it makes me want to play my game. Mm. I just want to impress and I want to perform, like, as much as I can to show them people, like, what I can do. Mm -hmm. So I actually think... I think I perform better in front of bigger crowds, which I've recently been looking at. So hopefully we can play in bigger stadiums more often. Mm, I've got to say, I was reading recently, Beth Mead was talking about factors in what made her improve. Obviously competition for places with Lucia Garcia coming in and Nikita Paris coming in. How's it for you seeing that, that kind of player coming in? Is that, a, is that a problem for you or is that something you thrive on? I think it's great to be honest because obviously they're really good players, they're very talented and they offer something different. Mm -hmm. So when I'm sat on the bench obviously like wanting to get on the pitch and just watching them do their thing, mm -hmm. It's almost like, okay, like I need to come back firing, <laughs> yeah. like, and I want to. So I think I'm really happy for them watching them perform. It's, it's not, there's nothing better to see mm. than people doing well. But it makes me fired up and like it gets me ready to come back in stronger. And in this world now of inverted wingers, I, what I've seen when I see you're always on your side, the left side, you're very much an orthodox winger, get down the line, crossing it in and that. But I'm seeing now, you're seeing you more inside. Have you worked on that yourself? Is that obviously what the, the coach wants to do? Or is that, do you enjoy it? Do you, what, what, do you like it? I think when Mark first came in, it was very inverted and it was a bit different for me. And mm. it was, I wasn't too sure about it. And it didn't really work the first couple of games because right. I'm a very like, natural winger, staying wide, running at fullback. So what was it? When you came in the middle, did it feel like you felt like, oh gosh, where am I? Yeah, and like it was harder for me to turn and face a defender when I was in the middle of the park. So it was like just like being unsure about the, the situation. Mm. And I think now I, I have the understanding of me and Tooney like to rotate. Mm. So she'll go wide, I'll stay in the middle. And it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable anymore. It feels very natural. Did, and I feel like it's working at the minute. Did it, t did it take time for you? Yeah. You know, because you're very, you're very left-footed. Yeah. We're going to see one of the goals in a sec. We're going to roll it in in a sec. One of the goals where it's a brilliant finish. But like, it's, you're, you're in a place where you're actually almost coming off, you're coming off the right-hand side. So this is the goal. And it's like where you're coming off of, she's not tight. Like once you move off of her, like you're out of her side, I like this, and then bam, you're in. Don't you, do you like that? A very unorthodox finish I might add, with the <laughs> outside, outside of the left foot, foot yeah. yeah. Never even thought to go with your right foot with that one. No, I think, you know what this was going through my head? If, like, you see it here, the mm. defender's actually getting pretty close to me. Right. So I feel like if I hit it across her, she might block it. Right. That's why I've gone near post with the outside of the foot left finish. You like that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Beautiful weight on that pass from Ella Toon. And then there's, a, there's another one I want to talk about. Now this one, you, you, look, again, Ella Toon, far too much on, time on it, and you're just, you're blasting through people. What I see about this one is like the defender. No one's picking you up. She's got to come out. Bam. What are you thinking? Honestly, I just felt like if I get in front of the goal, I just need to take my chances and mm. take, like get shots off because I don't think I do that enough. Right. I think I get in positions sometimes where I should just shoot mm -hmm. and I should get my shots off. So I was a lot more positive in this game. See, it felt like a, a, a big game, this one for me, the res this result. How did it feel to the group? Do you lot feel like, yes, yes, man, we're coming? <sighs> It did, but also I think I'm, after this game, I was f almost frustrated that we didn't win. Right. Because the last ten minutes was like very. We could have. We could have. Sh we had chances you to have. win. Yeah. But then also there was points in the second half where they could have also nicked it as well. So going into it, because like obviously the Arsenal game, like November, and and what you've done, because people talk about Man United like, oh yeah, but when it comes to the big games, they don't turn up. They don't. It doesn't happen for them. Yeah. Was you thinking about that game and going back to the thinking about the Arsenal game to go into that game, say, no, we're ready. We're ready for this. Oh yeah. After the Arsenal game, I think our mentality's just changed like completely because we knew we could go to a big stadium against a big team and mm. we've come come away with the three points. And I think that confidence in and around the team right now is right there. Okay. So now I've got. To ask you a question England I want you back in and around England 
you got to explain. Tell, tell us about England and the situation and what's going on. Because, like I say, there's a place for you there. And plus, with what you're doing, the levels you're reaching, there's another level for you. Yeah, and obviously, like it's always nice to hear like that from everybody. And I've I've spoken I've spoken to the manager a few mm. times, and I've just been really honest. And right. I like I'm happy to speak about it, and I just want to be honest with everyone. Like more for me, it was more of getting my confidence back right. to where it was. And like I had a bit of an up and down with football and I mm. wanted it to be in the right place because obviously England is obviously a very intense environment mm -hmm. because it's very professional and it's very high level. See, people don't understand that. People don't understand that. I remember my most anxious and pressurised kind of moments was being amongst those players, very good players, and it's very pressurised. I don't think people understand that. Yeah. I've spoken to like Mary and mm -hmm. Nikita and obviously they've been in around that environment and they've said to me like, yeah, it is the, like it is pressurised and it is intense and if you're not quite in the right mind like space, it's not the greatest place to be. Right. So I kind of have tried to just been working on myself and working on my headspace and just getting myself like 100% to where I want to be. Mm. And I'm thinking like everyone that goes to camp is 100% invested and wants to be there. Right now, I wouldn't be. Right. So I don't want to take someone else's position that can give a hundred percent. But it's not something I will shut out forever. Mm -hmm. If if like the time came and it felt right and they wanted me back in to go and compete, I would. You know, I'm I'm quite pleased to see that somebody has uh, has recognised something in themselves, and you're sticking by that. But remember, there is a place for you there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're very good, man. You're very good, man. <laughs> Eyes on the title now. So how are you feeling about this league title run? I think for me personally, it's more of like, let's just continue every game as we're going. I'm not even looking at May and thinking, oh, we're going to win the league. Mm. Right now, I couldn't care less about that. It's more keeping everyone fit, keeping the depth in the team and keep performances. Mm. And if we can do that, the outcomes will show themselves. Lee, I've got to say congratulations on being Barclays Women's Super League Prayer of the Month. There Thank you go. Thank you very much. You're the best. <laughs>